Hey, if you're scratching your head, wondering what to get your little computer scientist for Christmas or for their birthday, you're in the right place. All of the toys here are STEM related, so they relate to computer science, engineering, construction in some way. There's some really exciting ones, and what's great is as these toys are starting to develop, you're starting to see tie-ins with franchises, and there's two amazing ones in this top five. Let's get going. This is the Lego Boost Kit. It was launched in 2017 and it's a really, really cool way to get your kids engaged in programming. They'll be very familiar with the way that Lego works. Probably they've not seen it with sensors and with programmed components attached. This is kind of like an evolution of the Mindstorm kit that was really popular a few years ago. So within the kit, you get the instructions to build a range of robots. There's the robot that you'll see here, who's kind of like the, the main guy. Then there's a cat. There's a sort of reminiscent of Guitar Hero guitar robot, which you can play music on. And all of these have different functionalities and different activities that the child can explore. It's worth saying that because this is Lego, essentially, you can hack existing kits and YouTube, existing products using the sensors and that's a little bit more advanced simple, but essentially once you've bought the Lego Boost kit it means that some of those bigger so kits that you've got you can start away. to turn them into interactive pieces of Lego as well so if you go to yes. the Lego Boost website you'll see that we they've started to have hey, the Ninjago Dragon so it becomes something that can Here's move in response to the child's programming so it's a very very cool thing to off. see it's also worth it's saying that this is Lego, so you know you're getting a really decent product, a really good quality, and you get something that's updated, so they're, they're staying in support of this product and releasing updates to the software in order to mean that your child will be able to use this for the, for the next few years to come at least. Meet Botley. Hi! The code to fun. Here we have Botley by Learning Resources. This is probably one of the better ways to get very young children engaged in computer science that there's no screen required. In fact, it all happens on a remote control that transmits a signal to Botley. So the way it works is you take the remote control, you can program up to 80 directional steps and then transmit them over to the robot and then the robot will follow that sequence. So essentially your child has 77 pieces included in the kit to build obstacle courses and then there's a puzzle there for the child to try and figure out what's the route Botley can take to navigate. It's a great way to get children to interact as well. You could have one child setting up an obstacle course and another child trying to figure out the steps required to make it to a goal. What's cool about Botley is it's also got a object sensor so it's able to navigate and be quite smart about kind of collision detection. It's that moment One of the other features is black line sensor. Clicks. If you've got a marker pen and a big piece of paper, There's your child could draw a big a half or maze to follow spark. and Bolly would be able to do so. So this is a really good piece of kit. Maybe if you're working with two-year-olds to three three-year-olds this would be a good age range i think for them before they move on to something that might be a bit more screen based learning resources learning is where we play this is the ozobot evo it's a tiny little robot but packed full of features and it'll mean that your child can get to grips with some real fundamentals of coding one of the great features is that it responds to drawn lines. So if you've got a younger child that you'd love them to explore robotics and code, this is a really interesting way to introduce it. At a fundamental level, some felt tip markers and the really innovative colour code system drawn on a big piece of paper means that your child can create games, mazes and all sorts for the Evo to follow and have lots of fun. Because there's this vocabulary of colour response that the Evo has, it means that there's kind of infinite possibilities in, in the way that they use these colour code. As they progress, there's a drag and drop system as well, which means that your child can learn at a very basic level about a piece of hardware responding to a piece of code that you've given them, and then learn a little bit more using a drag and drop system. So it's a really good way to progress your child from very fundamental and very physical response through to slightly more complex drag and drop systems. 
My favourite bit of the Ozobot Evo system is the skins. Now this is an amazing feature, it's such a clever idea, but essentially, as you can see here with the Spider-Man and Venom skin, you can take a skin from the Marvel Universe, there's all sorts of characters to choose from, and apply it to your robot, meaning that your child starts to build these adventures using the programs that they're writing. It's a really, really cool idea and a great way to engage your child in computer science. Smart is super! So if you've got a child that is in love with the Avengers universe, then this just might be the present for them. Little Bits make these amazing construction toys that have electrical components. So they're plastic, you can clip them together and it allows you to run circuits on them, which is amazing. So in this kit, which is all Avengers themed, there's 18 different challenges. So there's like a speed sensor, there's night vision, and it allows your child to construct these different pieces of wearable technology. So these 18 code challenges are run in-app, so iOS or Android, and use a simple block coding process, but you get this really cool piece of wearable hardware as well that your child makes. I think it's a really cool crossover between like more complex code systems for kids and a Lego system in that they're gonna build something that looks awesome, but is also programmable by them. So if your child's seen Infinity War and is ready to battle Thanos, then this is the kit for them. There's so many customizable bits, there's so many lights and sounds and sensors included in this kit. It's a huge amount of fun and I know it's gonna keep your child busy for a long, long time. Also, because of its very accessible nature, it just means that if your child stays interested in computer science and development and coding, it's a really good platform to launch them from. So this is an absolutely genius tie-in. Kano have been around maybe a couple of years now producing these really entry level but fun computer coding kits. And quite often they kind of combine construction kits and the code school elements as well, which children really love. So in this case, obviously it's Harry Potter. Kids get to construct the one, so they'll see the components, they'll see how it all comes together and, and produce a piece of hardware. And then they'll go through over 70 code challenges, all based on JavaScript, but produced in a sort of drag and drop manner, which is, you know, really accessible to children, but they'll be able to see the code that underlies it. Um, all of the challenges are, are kind of Harry Potter related, which is A, so you can like levitate feathers, you can set things on fire, there's all sorts of amazing stuff. It's cool because the wand is motion controlled, so your child will be able to program, you know, as the wand goes up, levitate the feather. They'll be able to see that respond on the screen. Really accessible as well in that the software that this runs off is iOS, Android, Mac, and PC compatible. So no matter what hardware you're running your software on, your child will be able to see the res results. Because the code challenges are drag and drop, it means that it's a very accessible way to get to grips with code. This is all based off of JavaScript, and it should push your child forward. If they really enjoy doing this, they'll start to understand things like loops, logic, and variables. So if they want to learn more about coding at a deep level as they move through school, perhaps, they've already started to play with some of the, the theories behind it, which is really exciting. One of the cool things is that the Kano world is sort of like a junior version of GitHub in that kids can share their code online and other children in, in the Kano world environment can respond to it. So maybe look at it, download it, tweak it, and then deploy it on their own device. So that's a really exciting and interesting prospect that sort of brings a social element to what Kano have done. In terms of price, it's about $99, um, £99 in the UK. Links are, as always, below in the description if you want to pick one up, and that's through Amazon, Kano sell direct through there, uh, and you should get a good price. Still looking for gift inspiration? Hit the subscribe link, there's loads more top fives coming. There's so many cool toys out this year that we're gonna cover them all.